Okay, um, I'll just close this out, uh, go through some of the economic uh, tools that are put together real quick. Uh, they're pretty straightforward, nothing real uh, detailed. Uh, in general, it, uh, mortality composting can be uh, the most economical option. Uh, it depends on a number of things, but uh, in general, you'll have less labor than digging the, the burial pits uh, in, in most every case. Uh, the site can be reused. Uh, you don't need a very big site, at least on an operation that doesn't have a lot of death loss uh, from year to year, and that can be used, uh, once you get that site established, it can be used year after year as those uh, mortalities compost and, and move along. Uh, the transportation fees, the tipping fees, and the rendering fees that are uh, part of a, a disposal operation, moving those animals off-site, uh, obviously those costs aren't aren't a part of composting, so that's a savings that can be realized. And then uh, basic equipment, I think this has been mentioned a couple times, usually the equipment that's on site for a livestock operation can be used for composting. Uh, generally a loader uh, is sufficient to do this. Uh, so the, the tool we've used uh, to help people step through this process, this is a, a, a vision, basically laying out visually uh, for the producer to try to decide which which uh, alternative is better, their, their current situation of, of disposal off-site or the, uh, the transition to a composting alternative. Uh, so a, a partial budget is a system that's, that's been around as far as uh, making incremental decisions in economics for a long time. It looks at additional costs, additional revenues, and reduced costs and reduced revenues. Uh, so these are some of the examples that might uh, come into play. Uh, additional returns aren't likely under a composting situation. As we said, we don't recommend selling uh, this compost off site, so you wouldn't have any additional revenue with composting, uh, but you would have the reduced costs uh, that come along with the uh, reduced tipping fees, uh, rendering fees, and those type of things. Uh, some additional costs uh, are possible depending on uh, your labor situation. You may need to hire or pay for labor to do the, uh, the composting. Uh, you may also need to buy some carbon materials uh, to help out with the composting process. So th those are some uh, potential additional costs uh, with composting. Reduced returns are possible if, uh, if there was an uh, off-site representative or an entity that was paying for those animals. Uh, but in general, if, if you were getting paid for the animals, uh, you probably wouldn't be looking at, at composting. There are some exceptions to that, but this is the general layout uh, for that partial budget. As I mentioned, it has additional returns and reduced costs. On the left side of that sheet, uh, this is an Excel sheet that's available at the uh, Livestock and Environment website. I'll show you that link here in a bit. Uh, the sheet does all the math, uh, but it's pretty straightforward. The, the positive returns to the operation are on the left side of the sheet. Uh, the negative uh, returns are on the right. So you have, in this example, uh, $1,250 saved as far as reduced costs for rendering charges. On the right side of that sheet, you have additional costs uh, for equipment and a carbon source and equipment labor. Uh, so this would net out to a $400 net benefit. In this example, a $400 net benefit to switching to composting on this operation. Another couple of quick examples. This one looks at additional costs of $50 uh, for, that, for that carbon material. And then a uh, reduced cost of the burial fee, $200, uh, nets out to a $150 net benefit to composting. And then this next example would be an example where a, a producer would use this tool and decide not to compost. Uh, pretty straightforward, uh, an additional cost of that uh, silage and labor uh, to do the composting, but then a, uh, a reduced return of uh, $40 where they were getting paid for that carcass offsite. So in this situation, they'd be $90, uh, $90 behind uh, by switching to compost, so they wouldn't, wouldn't switch to composting under that scenario. Uh, there are a number of complications uh, that are hard to put a, a dollar figure on. You have uh, biosecurity issues uh, where you, you may choose composting even though it didn't pencil out. Uh, you may have, especially in hog operation, uh, that's an example I can think of in our area, it may be a, a benefit as far as biosecurity goes to keep, uh, keep additional people and uh, equipment off of your property if you don't want to introduce any uh, pathogens from off-site. So that's an example of a biosecurity benefit to composting that's hard to quantify. Uh, really, you're trying to manage from a, a catastrophic uh, disease problem. 
And then you may have some issues where you can use some of that compost on your own property. So those are some things that are hard to quantify, but certainly a benefit to composting. Uh, it is less labor in most cases, but you may, uh, you may have some issues if you don't have extra labor to do some of these things uh, as compared to uh, off-site disposal. And then uh, equipment choices, if you do need to uh, purchase additional equipment, uh, there may be some uh, potential to pay that equipment off over time if you have enough volume of composting and can uh, uh, put some of the savings towards the purchase of that equipment. Uh, but as I said, uh, there are a lot of cases the equipment on site can do the composting without uh, purchasing any new equipment. Uh, so these are some of the recommendations when working with producers. I would just encourage people to work with producers to help decide some of the trade-offs between uh, their alternatives. Uh, and ultimately, it is the producer's decision if they're uh, comfortable with composting, it's a great alternative, uh, but if it's, if it's on the margin, uh, and they're more comfortable with using a rendering service or, or some other alternative. Uh, really, it's the producer's decision to make. Uh, as far as regulation, uh, composting is regulated, obviously, in, in uh, a lot of different places. We have some of the uh, regulations in our uh, mountain states, but uh, on a state-by-state uh, -state basis and regional basis, it uh, makes a lot of sense to check to see what those regulations are. Uh, the Department of Ag, uh, Department of Livestock, there's a number of different entities uh, that would be covering this type of thing. A lot of it may be covered in the uh, animal feeding operation permits that are on a, on a local basis. These are some of the contacts that we have in, in the mountain range area. We have a lot of those contacts in our materials. Uh, so that may give you an idea if you're outside of this area to, to see what type of entities you want to talk with. A lot of the uh, commodity associations, the uh, livestock associations probably should have some good resources and also extension in, in, in our CS folks. So in, in summary, uh, composting we feel is a feasible practice for mortality uh, management, uh, especially in areas where uh, rendering may not be a viable option any longer. Uh, it is proven in the, uh, the colder climates, as we mentioned, it's, it's worked all the way from Montana down into New Mexico with some adjustments for moisture and that type of thing. Uh, and then it is preferable for a number of reasons, uh, economic reasons, as we've laid out, uh, biosecurity, and then the uh, public and neighbor relations, just uh, managing, those, uh, managing those mortalities in a way that's more uh, neighbor friendly to cut down on odor and some of the visual uh, visual hazards of, of poor uh, disposal. So uh, just in summary, we have a two-page guide that can help step through some of the, the process. That's a, a sheet that a producer could have on, on hand to guide through the process of laying out a compost file. That can be downloaded. Uh, and then there's a number of other materials. We have the, the manual that we mentioned. This is the website for that. Uh, livestockandenvironment.org. Uh, those manuals and products can be downloaded there. You go to the main site, uh, click on projects, summaries, and mortality management. That will take you to this uh, mortality management project. So I'd welcome any comments and questions you have for the group at this time.